Um, I want to talk about the doubtful Thomas. You may have heard that. It's a, in reference to a biblical story, and it has to do with doubt. And so, I wanted to talk about doubt. I, you know, I want to talk about doubt in this video, um, as well as one's identities codec. And so, <clears throat> getting into it, I may be in the minority here, but I view doubt as a psychic fear, a psychological fear. Um, and other people wouldn't call it a fear. They would think that's crazy. Why, why would you call doubt a fear? But um, I do. I, I call doubt a fear. And unlike other fears, doubt does not manifest itself in physics. It's a purely metaphysical fear. When you think about a doubtful Thomas, well, when I think about a doubtful Thomas, what comes to mind is somebody who is detached from, I guess you, you could call it interpersonal, <clears throat> interpersonal, um, interpersonal, physical, aura, vibe, connectivity. Yeah, interpersonal um, vibe connectivity, or some, something like that. Um, a doubtful Thomas is detached from that, you know, and, <clears throat> and how does that happen? So, I think of being, I think of being attached to interpersonal vibe connectivity as effortlessly joining a dance group and being able to just, you know, do the moves and everything in sync. Everything is in sync interpersonally. If you know, if you know what I mean, like, you know, step right, you, you know, you're in the armed forces and you're marching. That's, everything is perfectly well-timed. It's precise. And it's an, it's an interpersonal um, communication of um, physical harmony, so to speak. And so a doubtful Thomas, to me, is somebody detached from that. And what detaches somebody from interpersonal connectivity of kinds? Well, you know, here's one reason to look at doubt as a fear. Um, and that is that other fears, they detach people from interpersonal communication. So you think of panic, you think of worry, right? Worry is projection. It's fear projection. Something bad might happen in the distant future or, you know, the not so distant future. Um, you think of um, paranoia. Paranoia is, as, you know, it, it manifests physically as, you know, a nervous system, you know, breakdown of sorts where, you know, your nerves don't really know, you know, how they should alert you to what's happening. You're sort of confused and, you know, you're paranoid. So, Panic, worry, and paranoia. Panic is immediate. It's, it's um, you know, it's, it's a reaction of fear and immediacy. 
And so, all right, class, everybody, we have to get off this bus, you know, and the sweat, you know, uh, uh, dripping down in rivulets, uh, down the face of the person panicking. That's very, um, it's very compact in immediacy. It's, it's, it's right now in real time. So, you know, panic, paranoia, and worry, okay? Worry being future focused, um, panic being now, paranoia being timeless. You know, you, you lose your sense of time, so to speak, you know. Uh, you're, complete, you're, you're completely confused. But all these three fears, uh, panic, paranoia, and worry, these, these uh, three fears, they detach you from interpersonal communication. Now, that, th those are the things that do that, right? Those fear does that. Doubt does that too. So doubt, in my mind, is a fear. It's, it's a fear. It's not the same type of fear as panic, paranoia, or worry. Because you think about it like this. I think of it like this. You know, how I said, you know, panic deals with immediacy. It's fear and immediacy. Um, uh, worry, uh, you know, is fear, you know, future focused. Um, and um, paranoia is sort of, it's like timeless fear. Um, you know, think of doubt. Doubt is like, yeah hmm I'm trying to trying to recall something I'm losing it but um anyway scratch that scratch what I was saying um fear, fear is a doubt uh, sorry sorry no doubt is a fear um because like the other fears of panic um paranoia and worry, it is a psychic state, a psychic state of consciousness uh, that detaches one from interpersonal communication. So um, even though I can't remember what I was going to say about doubt, um, I, I, I think of it as fear. Anyway, anyway. Um, a doubtful Thomas, you know, is a person, an individual who is, who is stuck in that psychic state of mind. And that, that psychic state of mind of doubt, that fear of doubt, it, you know, it is merged. It has somehow merged into that uh, individual's identity's codec. So, if you um, aren't familiar with what a codec is, it's basically think of it as uh, that which um, that which com uh, compresses information for transmission and then decompresses information for reception. And so think of it in, in terms of a lens that does that. And, you know, so, so it basically, it makes things relatable. It, um, it helps relate one with things. It helps relate one point to another point, you know? And so, an identities codec that makes things easily relatable for one's particular particular position, and so, um, and so, a doubtful Thomas, their particular position has been infiltrated, infiltrated, and malformed by the detaching fear of doubt. You know, the, the detaching fear of doubt. Doubt. Doubt being a fear, right? And so, this is 
doubt is a fear that doesn't, you know, physiologically manifest, but what it does do, what it does do is it pauses things. Oh, yeah, that, uh, I remember what I was going to say about uh, uh, doubt. Okay, so how I was talking about how panic is um, fear and immediacy, worry is fear and, um, you know, future focus, you know, potentiality. Um, paranoia is timeless fear. Well, well, doubt is frozen, it, it's frozen time, basically. It's, it's fear in a frozen state of time. And that's your state of mind. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, a frozen state of consciousness uh, detached. Because there's always an element of detachment with every fear. And so with doubt, it's you're paused. You're like, you're paused in a state of fear. It's, it's, you know, those um, Bob Dylan lyrics, you either got faith or you got disbelief, come, comes to my mind right now. But disbelief, doubt, right? Doubt is frozen in time. So it's like, if you take the, the word disbelief, distance of belief. Well, what gives you distance of belief? What, I mean, not what gives you distance of belief, but what positions you with distance of belief? You're stuck in time. You're stuck in time. You're stuck in a moment. You, you know, a la doubt is a fear. You see? You see what I'm saying? And so, and so a doubtful Thomas is stuck in time. You know, he's stuck with an identity's codec, you know, it, you know, it paused in time in, in that state of fear. You know, this is when we talk about stunted growth, this is what we, you know, we um, you know, universally mean, you know, because it becomes more simplistic the broader, you know, we uh, the broader we allow the um, definition uh, to to be formatted, so so to speak. So, um, you know, universally, um, universally, what was I saying? Universally, um, Universally, one uh, when they are stunt when they have this uh, growth stunted, uh, they are trapped in a moment. They are trapped in a trauma. If if you allow me to. Uh, make use of that term, uh, you know, traumatic experience. So think of think of being a doubtful Thomas, like you are trapped in a moment of of traumatic experience. You know, and and you know the part of your self, uh, I should say, your interpersonal self-consciousness is stuck in that moment of trauma but the intrapersonal self-consciousness has grown up has developed has moved past that because that was not that was not affected the intrapersonal self-consciousness was not affected but the interpersonal self-consciousness that was frozen in time that's the fear of doubt you're stuck in time you're paused the doubtful thomas is stuck paused with the identity's codec of who he was or who she was, you know, the female equivalent of, of a doubtful Thomas, right? Who they were, they are stuck perceiving that way. 
with, with you know identity referring right they so the identities codec that they are perceiving with that that they are perceiving the world to remain doubtful is stuck in a um in a is stuck in a um I want to say in infancy, but that's not right. Um, it's it's stuck at the time the traumatic event happened. It's it's frozen there. But the intrapersonal uh, self consciousness has moved on. It has developed. It has grown, sprouted wings, and it is flying and fluttering about in the air. But that interpersonal self consciousness is is you know, form, you know, it's, it's tethered in, in that moment of trauma to the identities codec that is applicable to that age level, at, at, you know, to that time with that particular identity. Anyway, I, ho I hope I've explained that well. Um, but basically, yeah, you know, doubt is a fear. It freezes you in trauma it freezes part of you your your con your self consciousness in trauma the interpersonal part um and that's what detaches a doubtful thomas from feeling the the um interpersonal emanation of um vibration of vibrancy um, of, you know, basically the, the doubtful Thomas is, is going to be very, very uncoordinated if you, you know, put them, you know, in front of the class, at a, you know, at a um, Zumba workout. They're going to be like, I don't, I think I'm turning Japanese, I think I'm becoming a robot, I can't do this because... I, I just can't. I don't know how everybody else is moving in unison, but I can't. You know? They, they, they are going to be disconnected in that way, detached in that way. And that's because their interpersonal uh, perception is stuck back with a child's identities codec frozen in time. And, and so, yeah. So anyway, it's um, something to think about, isn't it? You know, uh, have a good day. Peace, meow. But Thomas, one of the twelve called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them, came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed they that have not seen, and have believed.